Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Last Dream. Uh, something I wanted to show you as I found this while climbing back up the mountain. And you see, I went back to heal. Didn't take very long. If you go through that, we're right near the beginning. I guess I never went through this door. There's a puzzle. <laughs> so, that's interesting. You're going to have to push the blocks out of the way to get to the uh, treasure chest. Um. Simple enough. 350 gold. And this just resets the puzzle. So, there you go. With that done, <laughs> I don't think there's. Oh, there may be other stuff that I miss, but I'm going to make a quick cut here and get back to where we were, unless I find something else. So, see you in just a sec. Okay. Let's see, I don't think we looked all the way over to the right here. Oh, joy! My favorite fight. Guard and ice. Storm. There you go. Bye. Simple enough. Ah, yes, all the SP. That reminds me. We're gonna spend it real quick. Don't worry. I actually know what I'm going to buy. <laughs> For myself oh one thing at level eight both me and sully got some additional skills unlocked as you can see they require 2000 sp tons of sp magic training 30 max mp 3 int i like that defender uh plus 30 defense 10 percent defense one ally taunt which is what i want War cry, stun all enemies, and plus 10 attack, preempt, and int to the party. I want taunt. So we're going to do... It requires leadership. Leadership <laughs> requires hardness and evasion. So we're going to go down that path. Evasion plus 2 agility. Uh, hardiness plus 2 defense. And then leadership plus 5 preempt, which is good. This helps shore up after I get rid of the quicksword. Now, Taunt is also going to require 2,000 SP. But, I'd like to be able to take the hits. Instead of Sully or one of the mages getting hit. So, I'd like to save up for Taunt. We'll see how that goes. For Sully, I'm going to get Hamstring. Normal attack with minus 10 attack, minus 10 defense, and minus 20 agility to the enemy. He also gets magic training. There's smoke bombs, blinds, and deals 40% damage to all enemies. Concentration, plus 8 accuracy. Backstab, normal attack, but with double crit chance. That could be really handy. Greed, plus 5 times average party level in gold per battle. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot. It would be 40 right now. But that's... 40 extra gold per battle, and that could really help <laughs> over the long run. I, I'd like to get greed quickly. So that's next. By the way, backstab, need, you needed to learn hamstring. So just so that's clear. Uh, for Nat, cure 2, heal 100 HP for an ally. Now it costs 30, which is 10 times, or which is 10 times. No, no, no which is three times how much Cure 1 costs, but it heals for more than I think you'll get three, casting three Cure 1s. It'll be close. Either way, this will be really handy in battle to heal up a lot of HP if somebody gets hit really hard. Now, for Psy, we're going to learn fire three so he has something other than ice just in case an enemy is weak to as a uh, strong to ice 
There you go. See, it didn't take long. <laughs> See, what do we have up here? I'd like to grab those treasure chests. Or these treasure chests. That works, too. A heavy axe? Now, you can buy this in the store. Back in Dry Gulch. If you want your fighter character to hit really hard, Massive Axe makes a heavy axe, which we just got one for free. Five bones and five stingers. It has 30 attack power. Now, just to give you a quick comparison, the quick sword is... Oh, I can't check it here. It's like 12, somewhere around there, 12, 15. So it hits really hard, but remember... Hey, a free short sword. Remember, it takes two hands, because the heavy axe takes two hands, so I'm going to assume the massive axe does. And you're going to have to not, not go around with not having a shield, which is less defense. But like I said, if you want to just be a powerhouse, you're going to go berserk. That's the weapon you'll want right now. You can build it, it's not that hard to build, same as the quicksword, and you can swing for the fences. <laughs> Let's grab these two treasure chests. A high potion, and an oak staff. I bought them oak staffs, didn't I? Yep. So you can find free gear here, which is nice, because the gear is expensive. So they give you a way to, to buy up what you don't have. Hello! I think this is the first save point we've seen so there is a save point here for those of you that are playing without the save anywhere mode that's good hey imps we could use the horns to build some other stuff hmm we have our favorite lizards here ready to spam magical attacks so i'm gonna take the ice three approach Zap. Ice three! Ah, it didn't do much to the imps. Burn? That actually hurt, and we're guarding. Alright, now we'll swing. Yeah, I didn't think you'd take that too well. <laughs> so it takes magic well, but not physical hits too well. 50 SP as well, that's nice. And a Herdrin 39 EXP. There's two imp horn, we'll save those to build stuff. 500 coins. Gold. Yeah, I guess it's gold because it has the G. So 500 gold. We'll resave. And let's cast. Heal one. I think you may even be able to use. Nope, can't use a sleeping bag or tent here. Uh, in. Other RPGs that have a save point, uh, sometimes you can use things that you can only use outside. Like I said, you can only use the sleepy bag and tent outside. Sometimes you're able to also use them at save points. Which is nice, but not the case here. Uh, what's over here to the right? Hello. You don't scream, boss, at all. Hi. You can't have it. It's mine. A giant ogre. Wow, you're really big. With a really big... What is that, like a tree? It's probably just a tree. Without the... Without the leaves and everything. That's what you're wielding. Alright, let's see how strong he is. Let's... Smite. Hamstring. Cover. Defense plus 10 and then 10% to the entire party. And we'll cast some cheap spells to see if we can find find a weakness. Fire one. Oh, missed with smite. Oh, and darkness. That's like hamstring. Fire one. Now that hit pretty. That hit pretty well. Cover. All right. I'll guard. I don't want to waste the uh, waste the turn with the uh, darkness. 
Uh, we're going to healing steel. Bright. And we'll try out ice one. <laughs> oh, 117. Now I know you crit. A tiny SP orb stolen. Ice one. Okay, so they both seem to do the same the same amount. Oh, that wasn't cool. Smite. We're going to healing steal again to see if it has anything left. Cure two. <laughs> and thunder one. Smite! Oh, now he's upping his defense. Small SP orb stolen. Wait, you had a tiny SP orb and also a small one? That's cool. Smite again. Steal. Defend and wind one. Ah, paralysis. A large potion stolen. Cool. I'm just gonna steal from you for everything you're worth. <laughs> uh, loosen. Darkness one. Strengthen. Plus attack. Now, I don't like that. Hey, a medium SP orb stolen. Fantastic. Darkness. Loosen. Now I can start swinging again. Smite. I wonder if it stacks. Let's find out. We'll hamstring again. Guard and Ice 3. See how much we can get out of it. Ha! Missed! Sorry! Hamstring. Ice 3. Went away. Eh. It, I'd rather just cast the smaller spells. We're not in dire straits for damage. Uh, doesn't look like it's stat, because it still just says minus 10 attack, the minus 25 agility, and the minus 10 defense. But thanks to Hamstring, he's not getting that extra 10% anymore. Steal more! <laughs> that may make this fight go on a bit longer, but we're getting a lot of great stuff from it. Guard, and... Fire one. I could have strengthened now that they Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> Hooray! Thanks for all the stuff! 250 EXP. Uh, 35 SP from the battle. No drops. Sad face. Rune of what? Sure, cutscene time. As you touch the rune of. Tirtith. Tirtirum? Titirum? You're struck by another vision. Three months after the incident in Alexandria. Oh, hey, they returned! Welcome back! Were you able to acquire the Bala Stone? Yes, but it took longer than we expected. Wait a minute, that's his name! This rune's his name. I have a feeling this rune will be important. An earthquake had blocked the way to the ballast stone. We had to make a new route through the rock to the ballast stone chamber. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to acquire the ballast stone. The ultimate crystal is barely strong enough to contain Nyx. Should we begin the banishment rit ritual, Ethra? Yes, let us begin. Places, everyone. You four shall draw power from the ultimate crystals while I shall draw from the ballast stone. Please stop! You're killing me! Should we stop? 
No, it's a lie. Continue with the ritual. Hmm. It is nearly complete. What? Whoa. Uh, bye! Where have you banished him, Ezra? To the abyss on the southern continent so deep that no one will ever be able to reach him. What's to stop him from making his way up, up and out of the abyss? Great question. <laughs> Protective fields guard his exit from the deepest level of the abyss. They are filled with the awesome power of the eternal orb. He will never break free unless we release him. Moments later. <sighs> Where am I? It can't be! No! There must be a way out! <laughs> wow, just going nuts! Back at the meeting of the Elder Council. This catastrophe seems to have finally reached a conclusion. It's been several months since we were able to focus on other matters. Indeed, we have to find a new Elder Council position, which must be filled. I believe that Mago would make an excellent council member. You must be mad. Scorpio is the obvious choice to replace Nyx. What was that? Exactly. What was that? I do not know. I do. It appears that the Eternal Orb has developed an instability due to the enormous strain in banishing Nyx. We must dampen the instability before it amplifies! Yeah, you think? <laughs> It is too late for us. Lend me your power. One of us must survive. Seconds after the explosion. No. This can't be possible. Aethra, why didn't you save yourself? I don't think I could go on alone. Blessed Vanu, the ultimate crystals destroyed. I didn't think it was even possible. I better gather the shards and protect them. Grab, 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 grab. Huh. It appears the ballast stone has survived the explosion intact. As Helios' fingers touch the ballast stone, it crumbles to dust. Impossible. It has existed since the oldest Vanir histories. Who was that foul soul that could poison our precious artifacts? <sighs> Another perplexing vision. What could they possibly mean? <sighs> Might there be a connection between these visions and my path home? I'll worry about that later. We need to get out of here. There is a cave back there. That seems like where we want to go. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Puzzle time. Over. No, that's gonna be a problem. Should have done the green one first. Up, 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 over, and up. Done! 
Leather shoes. Leather breastplate. Leather breastplate. More HP, a little more defense. And leather shoes. Which the mages already have. Hmm. Guess I can give him the Sully. He can use them. No, I can't. Uh, I'll give him a little more Priam. Agility and defense. Not as much defense as the... I think it's copper boots in town. But these will work. Alright, that was fun. We'll save real quick. Amateur Puzzler. Congratulations, achievement unlocked. Alright, well that's one of the two... Uh, two artifacts we were looking for. A piece of an ancient elvish relic. Hmm. I guess we can go back to Dry Gulch and, and uh, try to find some more information. Maybe somebody here knows something. Dog. Right. Hello. Uh, no thanks. Rude. I have a s <laughs> rude. I have a small stock of items. Um, no thanks. Maybe there's more information in Dry Gulch. Let's head back there. Well, that was a fun adventure. The boss at the end gave lots of good stuff. Let's look at the stuff that he that he gave us. A large potion. 250 HP for one ally. Had a tiny SP orb, which is 40. A small SP orb, which is 200. And a medium SP orb, which is 500. What else did we steal from him? Was that it? Yeah, I think so. Well, he's worth stealing from. I hadn't thought about that until now, because it's a boss. But stealing more than once. I wonder if he had anything else on him. Because <laughs> we stole several times. Uh, since we're over this way, let's let's stay up here for free. I could still rest two more times in Dry Gulch for free. But I may need to retreat there if the road is a bit difficult. To wherever we're going next. <laughs> Hi! Rest, yes. Something else that I've liked about, about this game, and it showed right there, is even through all of the exploration and uh, just other things that we've done so far, right there, it didn't let us forget about the story. Hey, main character, you're trying to get home. Yeah, that was, that was nice. And then there's something even larger. You know, more than just that. You know, what's with Nyx? Did he escape? Because of everything that went down. What happened with Helios? What do they have to do with... With uh, the main character? Why is he getting these visions? It, it... Doesn't let you forget about that stuff. Which is nice. Sometimes you can get lost in... Everything else that's going on side quest, exploration, etc, etc, that the story really gets lost. Or sometimes the story just doesn't take enough enough of a of a role to keep you interested. They're using they're using the flashbacks and they're oh Dragon's right. They're using the flashbacks and they're using the uh, monologue from the from the character to uh, to keep the story 
fresh in, in people's minds. And you can go back and watch the cutscenes too if you forget a part. Just, just well done. It's just polished. It's just polished. Uh, since we have some money, let's do this. And since I have some goblin scales, let's make some mid potions. Uh, see, there's the massive axe, five stingers, a heavy axe, and five bones, and 200 gold. There you go. And the stats. See, 30 attack, but minus 10 defense. This is an all, you know, all or nothing weapon. You're just, like I said, going to swing for the fences with it and hope you kill stuff fast enough. Not my style, but I'm glad the option is there. A whole bunch of other stuff that we can't really do anything with yet. So, we'll wait. Uh, we're going to use the storehouse. I haven't cleaned this up. See, the, there's a bear pelt. There's a bear pelt. I've just been throwing stuff in here. Uh, stinger. Something needed imp horns. Um, the wolf pelt. And I'll clean it up later. Lizard scales. And I'll sell the bones. I have quite a few bones. No, don't don't sell yet, because I have the imports. <laughs> Almost messed that up. Let's see. Got the stinger. Stinger bones. Magic defense staff. Three goblet scares, three imp horns, and an oak staff. What else uses the imp horns? Spry rope. Silk rope, which you don't have. Silk cloak. Reinforced shield, which I don't have. Ring helm, which I don't have. So I don't have the, the base items to make with the imp horns yet. So we'll store them. Before I accidentally sell them. Imp horn. I'll store the heavy axe too. Just in case I do want the the massive axe at some point for some reason. Okay. We'll sell the rest. And we'll also sell these worn items that we don't need anymore. Boots. Breastplate. Uh, oak staff. Because they both have an oak staff already. Short sword. Good. Just about everybody's geared out. Sully could use a leather breastplate, but I'm wondering. We've been here for a while. I'm sensing a, a new town on the horizon. So I'd like to to wait, see what's there, and then maybe buy things there. Okay. I think we're good. Now, after gaining a few levels, I'd like to set foot in the in the uh, woods of despair here, just for a little bit, since we're almost at that uh, thirty-minute mark. Because there were imps here, I remember that. Five Cobras, huh? Alright, let's see how strong they are. 21 to Sully. Burn. I like the music here. The music everywhere, to be honest. I like that the music changes. There's different music for different places. So I can one hit. You probably need two, so... I don't have a way to cure poison. Weak to fire? Yeah, the poison attack is gonna get annoying.
Oh wow, they've got quite a bit of, of HP. So somewhere in the 80s and 90s. Burn will just ice three. And we'll see what they drop, and then I'll maybe take one more bite. Ice three! Bye! 150 EXP, 50 SP, 5 snake scales. We'll store those. Antidotes cure poison. Balloon, wait, purify, cure poison for one hour. Purify. We'll learn that. Now you see why I hold on to SP for Nat. <laughs> okay. Hello. 500 coins, that's nice. I see papers over there. I'd like to grab. More treasures over here. And a fight. What do we got? Okay, we've seen this fight before. So, the, at least this first part of the Woods of Despair, you could be used to now. Or actually, well... Yeah. Oh, guard, because I don't want to take the damage from the... from the lizards, because they get to go first. As they throw down with their spells, at least I can negate some of that damage. Ice three. That will leave the imps left, and they'll go down without too much hassle. Recipe for Blaze Sword. Recipe for Blaze Hat. Those sound cool. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Blaze sword. A short sword, five imp horns, and three snake scales. Darn, now I wish I didn't sell that short sword. Of course, should have saved it because, well, it could have been used for something else. That could be good. We'll have to see how that is. Blaze hat. Silk hat, three bear pelts, three imports. We don't have a silk hat. The blaze sword is interesting. We'll have to compare it to the quick sword. So I'll probably make one of those. I may hang out near the entrance to this place. That way I can retreat quickly if I need to. And I think I'll gather up the, the things I need for, for the blaze sword. And then... I'll buy a short sword, I'll make it on screen, and we can compare the two, alright? So, I'll end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. We got the first artifact thing that we're looking for. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask around Dry Gulch. That's why I went back to Dry Gulch. Ah, uh, silly simple. I'll go back to Dry Gulch and see if I can get a hint on where we're supposed to go next. And we might come back here and do a little exploring. Since we're right here. We'll see how that goes. It'll either be Woods of Despair or we'll try to find a new town if it points us in that direction. So, again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a ton of fun. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone. <laughs>